care of your truck too much, huh? That would be nice, right? What? If I didn't care of your truck too much. Uh, it's all right. Man, I'm gonna find out what pisses you off and just like hang on it for months. It doesn't really piss me off too much because I realized life goes on, everything will be all right. I feel like I could take a bottle of ketchup and like dump it down your pants and you'd just be like, oh, that's cool, bro. I think until I get over, like, <laughs> I'm gonna go home, hey. take what? my clothes off, take a shower. What? Go inside. I'll be mad for a go second. Inside. Upset. Every time I get upset, it's like people are just idiots. They don't want to help themselves. Like half my job is like, if I see something like that's like right there and they really need the help and then they decide not to, right. that gets me upset. Like you just told me that you had diabetes, you've been thinking about coming to the gym for like three years. The only reason you have it is because you don't know what you're doing and I provide you with all the tools that you want. And then you say, no, I'm going to go think about it. What are we thinking about? Right. Like, do you even think about how we're going to die? Oh, you know, I'm going to go think about this. Nope, we're not. We're, we're going to get started today. Well, you know, the crazy part is, and that's one thing, like, what I try to tell people when I train them or coach them, I say, is that, like, all the things I learned, most of it, I would say 95% of it was honestly trial and error yeah. with my own life. And I have amassed a lot of knowledge just based on the idea that I'm willing to do anything to my own body. Get that bitch in here. All right, hang on, let me, let me get back, see if we can get, get it on the scene. Put that big boy in there. And I'm talking about the bag, not Nate. <laughs> I don't think I can fit Nate in the bag. And then you have to seal this, man, because you're a genius and I'm not. Oh, you know, Nate, Nate really feeds my ego in my head. It makes me seem like I'm smarter than I am. Oh. It bothers me a lot. I'm trying to settle it. I'm just trying to settle it. That's what I'm trying to do. Fucking the sandbag. It's, it's, you know, hey, man. Uh, don't judge, first of all. Uh, secondly, So we've got your basic slip strap right here. What you're gonna do, you're just gonna come up the top like that, and then we're gonna put this bottom one right here like that. You need to do it there soon. Now how tight this thing's gonna hold, I can't believe. Actually it seems to be holding pretty tight. Um it would have been a really good fucking idea to line this bag with this with this with the bag before. What a really good idea. They put all those bags inside that bag and then tie off that bag and then we can tie this bag. Mm -hmm. That's what happens, man. When I told you, like, I told him, I was like, I've spent a lot of time and money trying to figure out how to do this shit the best way. It's not because, like, I wanted to make the best product. It's because every time I fucking did one, I was like, damn, I could have done that. And then I was like, damn, I could have done that. I think that's what I said earlier. What? One garbage bag in and then a smaller bag. We got like seven wraps, so I think that's, that's as cinched as it's gonna get. I mean, I'm not really sure how it's supposed to be tied there. It's kind of confusing. Honestly. It's confusing for me, like. Wonder. All right, well. Grab. Grab that. Grab that top. I think it was like, Will, hold this, and then he still puts his hand on my hand and pushes. <laughs> oh my god. I should tell you how strong your fucking back is. What? 
It's, you're like, you're hold this, and you still had to push on my hand when I was holding for you. Oh, you're going for a double fisherman's on the hook? Ah, see. I don't see it getting much tighter than that, brother. I'm glad we picked up that second roll.